Let me say this to you. Not that I didn't know, but I was reminded of it this week that gratitude is wrapped up in praise. You recognize that? Because we can be an ungrateful people at times. Well, I can't speak for you, I can speak for me. Pastor Dexter can be ungrateful at times. And so you may say, Pastor, what do I have to be grateful for? Well, let, do this. What's that? That's called oxygen. And, and check this out. I don't see any tanks in here like you had to have somebody else to, to help you to breathe. And then when you got up this morning, y'all looking good and fly and all that. So you had a, had a you had clothes. And somebody went like this, like I ain't gonna wear that, I ain't gonna wear that, I ain't gonna wear that. Ain't gonna. So you you had an option of clothes to wear. You could you 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 had an option. You be like I don't wanna wear that, I don't wear that. See, there's some people ain't got an option. All right, come on, Pastor. And then you brush. Most of y'all went to the, all of us went to the bathroom and brushed our teeth and got your hair together. Was there anybody in there helping you do that? Uh, no. See, be grateful for the small yes. things of life. Yes. Do you have some breakfast? Probably had a choice of eggs and grits or whatever you like to eat. See, right. see, we got to get grateful for the small things of life. And then when you begin to get grateful for the small things of life, now what uh, Pastor Dell Sister Lauren talking about, see, God, God doesn't like complaining. Old Testament teaches us that, man, he wiped out a whole lot, whole bunch of people because they were complaining. And when you start being grateful for the small things, like now God can step up into your environment, Psalm 22, and then now he, he, he wants to fellowship and commune with you. So that's why you got to clap your hands and raise your hands and lift your voice and those type of things. Amen.